Yo yo, today we're going to be making these balancing rocks in Blender using some noise animation modifiers and some cubes to make some rocks. So you can also use this on different objects. Here's an animation of objects balancing on each other with a chair and a clock. In this tutorial though, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it with some rocks that you can make. So to make the rocks, pretty simple. We're just going to use a cube and I'm going to subdivide three times, let's say, and I'm going to give it a displacement and choose Veroni. I'm going to go with the default settings for now and then I'm just going to drop another subdivision at the bottom so it smooths it out and we'll do shade smooth turn it down just a bit and I'm just going to go into edit mode now because we still have this original geometry and we're just going to go around and move these vertices a bit and you can always change the size in the Veroni texture and that'll be our first rock. Next, we'll just duplicate it and pull it up and just change these values a bit. And again, go into the vertex selection and just move around all these and make a different shape. Now you have all your rocks. I'm just going to move them off to the side here and I'll put a plane down. They're all pretty much on the same axis right now. So I'm going to go into my Y view so it's on the side view and I'll start editing these and making them look like they're balancing. So I found the way to make it look a bit better and Kind of fake the realistic part of it is just make sure that wherever they're balancing so wherever these are touching try and make this like a straight line almost so it's a little bit curved here so it's not fully realistic really so now that you have them all balancing on each other like that we're gonna just clear all the keyframes so you don't have to worry about anything and we're going to start setting the point of origin so if we do any rotations with the modifier noise right now they'll all just rotate off a weird angle. How we're gonna fix that is bring in your 3D cursor. Just go down to the bottom of each rock. So this one will be balancing around right here. I'm just gonna go select the actual rock now. Object set origin and set to 3D cursor. So now that's gonna rotate off of the bottom. So next we'll go to this rock and find out where it's balancing. I'm thinking somewhere around there. Set origin to 3D cursor. It's going to change the displacement a bit, so you can always uh, fiddle with that later. So you can also go inside the rock like this and just select whatever's coming through from the rock above. Okay, so now all of them are rotating off their own axes where they're balancing. So now we're going to go parent all of them from the bottom up. This one will parent to this very bottom one. This one will parent to this one. This one to this one and this one to this one so now you can see when you rotate this one all the way down they're going to be parented to each other so they're all linked so we have all this i'm just going to set up a quick camera and now that everything's set everything's on their origin points we're going to go and bring in the graph editor so not the normal timeline we're going to go into the graph editor so we can actually pull up some noise so we're going to need a keyframe on everything. So just clear all the keyframes, go to frame one and just insert a rotation keyframe. Now in this little drop down over here, you can select which axis you want the noise to be on. So we see a Y that'll rotate around there. So I don't think I'm going to rotate this bottom one too much because it would be the heaviest rock. So I'll probably start on this rock. Click on the Y rotation here, add a noise modifier. And you can see now it's affecting it. So the strength is pretty much the speed and then the scale is how much it's gonna be rotating. So you want something really slight. So we'll do the same for the rest of these. A large scale, so anywhere from probably 30 to 60 on the scale. And then from strength around 0.1 is probably the best. Just gives a slight slight tilt around and slight movement and then for this top one 
again, we'll do 30 and maybe I'll go 0.5. Mm, that's too much. Maybe 0.2. So now you have all these kind of balancing. So now you can just add whatever rock texture you want. I have all these textures from Blender Kit on these past rocks. And if you do have any small gaps like this, after adding textures, maybe they have a displacement. You can just go into edit mode and just drag the rock up a bit until that gap closes. And there you have it, some balancing rocks. So that's the tutorial. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'll try and answer them. And I'll see you guys in the next video.